when we really get a sight of the true spiritual war, all of a sudden we get very, very concerned very, very quickly. Amen? Because we start to realize that the battle is far beyond us and that we're going to need, we're going to need truth from on high. We're going to need the Spirit of God from on high. Hallelujah. In order, in order, amen, to be able to navigate through this, uh, global satanic conspiracy that we're living in. Most people like to live in it because it's, it's for them and they want to invent the God. It's easier to invent the God to go with what you want. But to follow the true and living God, my dear friend, is a whole other story. To lay down your life before the Lord God Almighty is the only time you're ever going to really realize where the Holy Spirit truly is. Many people believe in God, but they don't follow God. They follow what they believe of God in their own natural mind. But I'm telling you, the straight and narrow gate that leads to heaven is not in our natural mind. It is in a revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. It came from heaven only. Amen. The path to heaven is not a visible path. It is an invisible path. The invisible God coming in touch with the invisible part of your spirit. Everybody has an inner man. And everybody has a conscience. And everybody has an intuition. And the Holy Spirit has awakened you in that place of you there, the invisible part of you. Not everything that we know is real is visible, amen? We use cell phones. They also have invisible forces. You can see those. Those are, the, those are the invisible forces that are created by man. But imagine for a moment the invisible forces that are created by God. Hallelujah. Are you going to go to heaven, my dear friend? It's time to turn you, turn you, for why will you die? Amen. There's only one God who made everything, including the rules. Amen. Yeah, the path is narrow. Amen. It's fewer than to find it. The, the path is available for everybody. Anybody can come to Jesus and be saved. Amen. So anybody can come to Jesus and be saved if they want to. But it's up to them. We've got we to come to lay our life down. Most people want to pick their life up. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ laid his life down. Amen. He could have picked it up any time he wanted to. He could have ignored the cross, but he went to the cross. Amen. And anybody who wants to go to heaven must deny themselves and take up the cross and follow Jesus for real. Anybody who gets real with Jesus, God will get real with you. And you'll know I'm not playing games. You'll know I'm not getting around. You'll know that a lot of people believe in a, in a natural way, but not a spiritual way. The Bible says that they that are led by the Spirit of God are the sons and daughters of God. Amen. The Spirit of God has come to heal the brokenhearted, but He's also come to reprove the world of sin. Amen. God does not tolerate sin. People who live in sin are on the path to destruction. Amen. I'm not a hater of anybody. I'm not a hater of anybody except the devil. Because the devil is a liar. He's bringing souls to destruction. I want people to go to heaven. I'm here for one for one reason, to glorify God. And God is not willing that any perish, but all will come to repentance. So he says, turn ye, turn ye, for why will you die? Those that will live in their own way and play God in their own life, that soul will surely die. Amen. The Bible says, hey, how are you? The path to heaven is narrow. And we can invent a new path if we want to because we're selfish. And selfishness is the path to destruction. God wants you to turn and give up. Whether you're happy or sad, whether you're rich or poor, whatever skin color you are makes no difference. The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Amen. There is none righteous, no not one. Hallelujah. I want you to get right with God. No sinner is going to go to heaven. It's 75 years old. That's about the time most people check out. Hey, hurry. After that, back with you. It is appointed unto man after once to die, and after this is the judgment. Amen. And whether I'm on the corner or not, it's still true. Amen. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. And whether I'm here or not, it's still true. See, the word is forever settled in heaven. Hallelujah. Do you fear God or are you lost? Amen. Can you can you go to heaven and not fear God? No. No, you cannot. The Bible says it's enough. The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of of, of understanding, hallelujah. The fear of the Lord is strong confidence. The fear of the Lord is all the way through the Bible. It's not in a lot of churches because a lot of churches are not preaching the word of God, amen. They're adapting like they always do. They always adapt to the world around them, but the world around them is a different spirit, amen. You cannot straddle the fence with God, amen. All your ways and all your days unto the Lord Jesus Christ and he will reveal himself to you, hallelujah. The Lord will reveal himself to anybody who wants it, amen. Are you going to go to heaven? 
saved my soul. I belong to you now, Lord Jesus. I want you to pray that prayer right now. If you want to give your life to God. Amen. Are you ready to are you ready to give your life to the Lord right now? Amen. Uh, are you ready this very instant? Hallelujah. Are you ready this very instant to give your life to the Lord? I want you to say, Dear Lord, I am your safety. I am your safety. You lead me all the days of my life, my dear friend. He that is here until the end shall be saved. The same shall be saved. Hallelujah. I want you to overcome. The Bible says everything that's born of the Father shall overcome this world. Amen. The world and all its lust. Hallelujah. The world and all its wicked pleasures. Things we don't need. Amen. If you see the Lord, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Holding on to the true path is not an easy thing, my dear friend. I don't care what pastors say. I care what the Word of God says. And I say, Hallelujah. Most preachers are not preaching the Word of God. Did I say that clear enough? Most preachers are not preaching the Word of God. They are not preaching. They're preaching the straddle of offense message. Trying to make the Antichrist and Christ happy, my dear friend. That's not how it works. The Bible says you're going to remove that candlestick from the church, and you'll no longer be right in his sight anymore. Hallelujah. It's time to get shaken up in the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worship and adore him. Glorify his wonderful name. Amen, amen. His word became flesh. Hallelujah. And he, and he dwelt among us. Amen. All the glory of the only begotten of the Father. Hallelujah. Do you know Jesus, and does Jesus know you? Matthew chapter 7, he says to many are going to say, Lord, I did all these things for you, Lord Jesus. And he's going to say, I never knew you, depart from me, ye lawless. Amen. People who live like there are no rules, you don't belong to the Lord. Amen. The just shall live by faith. Amen. And then we don't want to be like those that draw back under perdition. We don't want to draw back under the Antichrist ways. Amen. Are you? God bless you. God cares about you. God loves you very much. His love is going to take you through, but his love will only be real when you get real with him. Amen. Stop the hate. Stop the hate. Amen. Got too many haters in this nation. Amen. Hating the God that saves us. The Word of God is the foundation of our Constitution. Without it, we're dead. Amen. One thing we can learn from history is that we never learn from history. Amen. We're going to repeat history, and this nation's going to turn into North Korea if we don't watch our steps. Amen. We need the blessing of God on this nation. God will protect a righteous nation. Hallelujah. God will protect a righteous nation. But a nation that kills its own babies is not righteous. Amen. A nation that wants to smoke the old cannabis is not righteous. A, a nation that will not forgive its enemies is not righteous. A nation that wants to get plastered on drugs and alcohol is not righteous. Turn you turn me. So why will you die? Amen. Turn off that trash music, brother. God loves you. God's got better for you than that. Amen. God's got better for you than that. Amen. Don't waste your life. Bring it to the Lord. He's the one who made you. He knows what you're made for. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to live for the glory of God. Amen. Are you living for the glory of God? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't let the devil discourage you. Amen. God's got better for you. The sufferings of today cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Amen. Hallelujah. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Neither height nor depth nor or principality, nor things present, or things to come can separate us from the love of God. Amen. God loves you very much. He's going to love. He's going to take you all the way home. I tell you, but His love is going to take you as a free gift of eternal life, away from the desires of this world. Amen. It's an instantaneous change, and you know for sure that this is the Lord, and He is for real. Amen. He's going to introduce Himself to those that are hungry. Amen. God is going to introduce Himself to those that are hungry for truth. Amen. The real God, the real Creator, He can reveal Himself through nature, and He can reveal Himself through His Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. I'm a hater of death. 
I'm a hater of spiritual death, and I want you to go to heaven. Amen. I want. I don't want anybody to walk on the path of darkness and, and, and miss heaven because you wanted to play games with God. But dear friend, don't let the pleasures of this world take you down. Don't let the pleasures of this world. Amen. Don't let unforgiveness take you down. Hallelujah. Don't let sinful ways take you down. Don't let don't let lustful things take you down. Don't let vanity take you down. Amen. Do I think do I think you're beautiful? Yes, I do. I think you're very beautiful, and I think I think that to be very dangerous when we know our own strength. We start to know our own gifting. The devil was very beautiful, and he fell for it. Okay, don't you do the same. Don't you do the same. Just because you got good things in your life doesn't mean you're right with God. Doesn't mean you're better than God. Don't say you can play God in your own life. God is the ruler of everything, including our lives. He made everything for His own glory and for His own His own good pleasure. And we gotta release ourselves back to where He really is. Amen. For the Spirit of the Living God to become a reality for us, to be born again of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Bible says that we're not born again of incorruptible seed, but of uh, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible seed. Uh, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Hallelujah. That was the word. Amen, amen. Yes, so I tremble today. Amen. The Lord's word is still true. we got to get back to the word of God or this nation is going to go under. It's going to be taken over by things much more crazy than you think. My dear friends, we're following the same... We're following the same path to tyranny like a lot of nations do. They fall into sin, and they reinvent God, and then all of a sudden they get taken over by a nation of crazy rulers, crazy government leaders who want to, who want to take us over. You don't believe the act of the toilet. They already fell for it, so don't you do the same. You've got to fight for America to stay the way it's supposed to be. Praise the Lord. It's built upon the Word of God. Amen. Check the White House. Check the Supreme Court. Check the Constitution. Hallelujah. That's the Bible, the King James Bible. Praise the Lord Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to go to heaven. Nobody can tell you you're going to heaven except the God who made you. Amen. Nobody can tell you you're saved except God who is the Savior. No man, no Baptist preacher can tell you that. Amen. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 says the Spirit itself bears witness in our spirit that we are the children of God. Whereby we cry, Alma Father, the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His word, His word, hallelujah, forever settled in heaven. Amen. His word, hallelujah, abide it forever, hallelujah, and fail us down not. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. He's worthy of all the honor and the praise. My dear friend, don't get angry when the word comes. You know what that means? That means you got your faith against God. If the word of God offends you, my dear friend, if the word of God offends you, that's because you're offense to God. Amen. You guys are very, you guys are equally upset with each other. Yeah. Your word is against God, and God's word is against you. So don't let, don't die in that position, okay? I want you to turn and agree with God before you die. Amen. Who you are when you die is who you are forever. Forever in heaven or forever in hell. It's your decision. If you got Lady Gaga CDs in your shelf, you're on the wrong path. If you meet Jesus, you would break those wicked CDs in half and say, get out of here. That's unclean. I didn't know, but when God opened my eyes, now I know. I once was blind, but now I see. And I see the amazing grace that God has poured upon my heart and sent the love of God upon my heart. And I have changed in an instant. Into the likeness of Jesus Christ, the holiness of the spirit of the living God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. It's time to get real with God. Anybody who gets very real with God, God will get very real with you. So it's only us. We have a right to look for God. Anybody who draws near to God, God will draw near to you. We are as close to God as we want to be. Amen. Amen, amen. We are as close to God as we want to be. If we draw near, woo See that? We're, we're very close to death. We never know. We're going to stand in a sinkhole. We never know when, a, when an ISIS member is going to come and shoot us. We never know what's going to go on. We've got a really crazy nation because there's no more rules anymore. Everything's subjective now. I want you to know a subjective mind is the wrong mind. It's not the mind of God. If we are in control, we're, we're acting like Satan. We're saying, I can handle it from here, Lord. Thank you very much. My dear friends, when you have no more air in your lungs, you won't be talking like a fool anymore. Amen. You won't be talking like an arrogant man. Amen. You'll be talking like a very humble man saying, Dear God Almighty, I'm sorry I had my faith in your way. Amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen. You can see people that have great faith, but you can 
tell they're not happy. Hallelujah. Amen. This, this banner is going to fall over and the word is still going to stand. Amen. 